first the modifications for two of these exercises. We need modifications for the burpees and for the mountain climbers. So if you are not a person that jumps, then we're going to use a chair for the burpees. And I'm going to show you three levels for each of these exercises. Level one, the very beginning level, hands up the chair. You're going to step out, out, in, in, and then reach. Okay? Out, out, in, in, reach. I want you to take that at the fastest pace that you can take for your body and what's going on with it and your fitness level. Okay? So here's level two. And here. You can add a jump, whatever it is for you. If you have a hard time getting to the floor, this is a perfect modification for that. All right? The full burpee is down here. Hands on the floor, jump the feet up, feet are wide, drop the hips, and jump. Make sure you don't get in this crouched position. I want those hands wide outside, those feet wide outside the hands. All right. Exercise number two we're going to modify is the mountain climber. So again, grab a chair, grab a couch, a bench, a step, whatever it takes. This is level one. This is the very beginning level. This is especially, if you haven't done interval training before, try this first. Do one round like this. Use it as your warm-up round and see what your body, how your body responds. So you're just going to go here. If you want to take it up a notch, you're going to go here. You're going to take it a little faster. And a full mountain climber is down here on the floor. Okay, so those are your modifications. I'm going to do two rounds of each of these exercises with you. I would love to see if you could get this workout to take 15 to 18 minutes of the high intensity intervals. That's going to blast your metabolism for about 24 to 36 hours. I'm going to start my buzz up at my timer set with 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. Now, 15 seconds of rest is going to make me breathless. It might kill you. So it depends on what your fitness level is. So in about 12 seconds, I'm going to get started. If you need more rest, Set your timer for 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest. I just don't want you to be fully recovered by the time you start the next exercise. We need to be breathless. Here I go. Herpes, feet wide and up. The whole goal of this workout is to blast that metabolism. So I need you to be breathless by the end of this 15 minutes. I need your muscles to be burning. And I need you to be producing sweat. Because all of those things are indicators yeah, yeah, 10 seconds. That the right hormones are happening to build muscle and get that fat burning blasted. All right, last one. 15 seconds to rest. Going to go right into my mountain climbers. Going to catch my breath a little bit. I have five exercises for you here that we're going to do. All right, head into the mountain climbers right here. Make it nice and quick. I highly recommend you pick some music that's very fast paced because your pace is going to match your music. It happens all the time in the gym. To so pick something very quick and push against the beat. So high knees, pull them out, fires, pull them up, abs tight. Very good. You can take it even wider like this if you want to vary it up a little bit. That'll get a lot of heart rate. Good. 15 seconds of rest. So each round. You're going to get more and more breathless. Always want to check with your doctor before doing high intensity intervals. If you have any heart issues, you want to make sure that's okay. So, high knee runs. Here we go. 30 seconds. Take it high. I like to hold my elbows up, give myself a little bit of rotation. Now, if you're not a jumper, you can go right here. Forgot about this one for you, okay? Whatever it takes to get that heart rate up, you can do this standing right next to your super fit friend. And you guys can get the same thing out of the same exercise, even if you are doing the modification and your friend is doing all the high impact stuff. Because it really depends on your current fitness level. And if you are breathless, and you are burning, and you are sweating, you are getting the same exact thing. So I never want you to be intimidated by your fitness level. Because as long as you're getting those things, you're stimulating the same hormones that she is. Okay, plank jacks. Okay, go to the plank. Now, modification is here. You just tap out. If your wrists are an issue, you can go down to your wrists and plank. If you can't do a full plank, just go here. Hold the plank. Instead of tap, you can alternate the knee raise. But the plank jack that I want the high intensity exercisers to do is here. Make sure you're not wobbling like this. You're going to hold your hips. Don't let your hips and 
shoulder is right over the wrist. We have one more. And then we'll go back to the top. This one's called a skater. And then lunge this way. Okay? I'm going to take it up higher. The show you start with the modification is here. Just low. Just like this. If this knee bend bothers you, you're here. I just want you to skate. Just like this. Just like you were ice skating or cross country skating. High intensity. Jumpers, you're here. Reach and step back. Watch that your knee stays in line. It's all kind of falling to the side a little bit. Make sure it stays in line with your toes. Good. Reach. Reach. So, we got five exercises. Take a break. It's going to take us about 45 seconds to do each one, including the rest. So, you want to do about three to four of these to get you to about a 12 to 15 minute workout. I'm going back to my burpees. Here we go. Round two. Good. Keep the eyes up. I see this happen on burpees a lot. I don't want this. I want this. Feet wide. Eyes up. Let your hands, eyes fall between your hands, not to your feet. Good. Four seconds. The recovery should feel less and less now. The same 15 seconds I had at the first round feels a lot less than it now than it did then. It felt like a lot more back then. And that is where the fitness gains are happening. That's where the hormones are being, huh? see? It's going fast. That's where the hormones are being produced. Is in these latter rounds. Good, not tired. Keep your eyes straight. I tend to want to look at my feet and knees when I get tired, so I'm going to keep my eyes focused right between my hands here. Back is flat. Abs are crunching tight. You can take it high and wide if you want. Good. All right. Catch a little breath. Get a little water. Recovery is going fast. We're stepping right into our high knee runs, whatever that looks like for you. You might have done the high intensity versions on round one. Round two, maybe you have to take it down a notch, but you're still moving. So this is good because your body, even if you take it down a notch, your body is still working hard and it's still being pushed. And that's okay. Because someday you'll be able to do two rounds of high intensity and then three. Right? Get a little rotation. Good. Knees high. Get those knees up high in line with the hips. Only five seconds to go here. Got four. Three. Two. One. All right. Two more exercises for two rounds. Plank jacks. Get prepared. Those shoulders right over the wrists. All right. Again, remember the modifications. You can do this on your knees if you need to. Ready to go. Here's your mod. Good. Abs nice and tight. You have to imagine that you have a little person laying underneath you, punching you in the stomach right now. That's going to tighten up the right muscles that you need to keep this core strong and to keep you from wobbling here in the hips. Okay? Don't let the hips know that those feet are jumping back and forth. Good. Eyes right down between your hands. Good. Okay, last one for this round. Yeah. I can hardly talk about my rest now. So that means that I'm working hard. This is where I want you to be. All right, two seconds. One, and go. and replay it, try it again. Now, so your plan today, go in, shower up, drink lots of water, keep your healthy snacks coming along through the day, do not starve yourself today, because as we talked about yesterday, if you starve yourself, there's that, <coughs> sorry, <laughs> if you starve yourself, there's this compensatory eating that happens. 
Your body starts to feel a little threatened because it hasn't seen food in a while, or it's only seen little dribbles, and it wonders, how long is this going to go on? Also, you start to crash. Your blood sugar starts to crash. So when you do get to the feast, you're going to be like, ah, taking it all in, and that's what we're trying to avoid. We want this to be graceful, right? So, all right, you guys, have a fabulous holiday, and I will see you tomorrow for the wrap-up of the Beat the Binge Challenge. Thanks for joining.